It's a storm that pushed through our state, caused a lot of flooding in some spots in our state. News 8's Tina Detail reports from downtown Mystic, where a major roadway got washed out, making it pretty tough for folks to get around. Uh, the street is a little flooded right now. There's caution tape. So if you don't mind parking on Main Street and walking over, that would be great. When Wayne Richard got into his barbershop this morning, he had 15 messages waiting for him. The heavy rains left customers wondering if the Mystic Barber was washed up for the day. I can't tell if I actually got water in here or not. Yeah, it looks dry now. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, this is the nature of the beast being down here by the water. The Mystic River, like many other waterways, overflowed its banks, causing the places which usually flood to flood again. Although most weren't expecting it with this storm, which started as snow. And not letting a little uh, caution tape stop you. <laughs> oh, definitely not. The roads are clear enough right here. Yeah. Although Chris Olson does have a pretty big truck to plow through most water over these roads. But not everyone is as successful as these folks. Made it through no trouble. Okay. One car we saw do it ended up uh, stalling out on us. Juniper Point in Groton was also underwater for most of the morning. One viewer sent in these pictures saying we did not know we would be having another 100 year flood. Or is it a 100 day flood? It's easy to see where the water was. A lot of debris has been left right here in the road and also in a lot of basements. Shane Carrier mm, is does. used to it. Yeah. It gets a little muddy at times, sandy and stuff, and well, you just hope you can save what you can at times. You know, that's what happens during a flood. Yeah. Keeping everything raised above where the water usually comes in. Another way of life along the shoreline. In Groton, Tina Detell, News 8.